Hello everyone. Welcome to .NET 6 microservice series and this is the last video of this series where we are going to integrate the API gateway for our microservice application. Okay. So this is the flow of our entire series, right? We have created microservice that contains product API and another microservice that contain orders API and then we have implemented RabbitMQ message broker to communicate asynchronously between the both the microservice applications. And finally, today we are going to implement API gateway into our microservice flow. So what is the need of API gateway? Okay, consider our microservices. Okay, till now we have created, right? Where, where we have two microservice applications, okay? The manufacturer.api applications, let's assume it will run under localhost port number 7132 and the sales business API runs under localhost port number 7456. Okay, so from this we can understand we have two different domains bound to each microservices, right? So different port means in real time, there will be a different domain. So each microservice will have its own domain or URL. So in the real world application, we may deal with 10 plus microservices. Currently for our demo, we are only created to write, but in the real time, there may be 10 plus microservices based on our businesses. In that case, handling or managing or consuming 10 plus different domains by a client application is very hard. So these microservices are nothing but the APIs. Ultimately, they need to be consumed by some client-side applications like Angular or React or Vue.js, any kind of JavaScript or mobile applications or any desktop applications need to consume, right? All those are comes under client category and all, all of them, it is very difficult to handle the different domain. So to solve this problem, API Gateway comes into the picture, okay? So API Gateway is also a simple API project, okay? It is nothing different, it is also API project with its own domain. But we will register our all microservice URLs with our API gateway URL, okay? With appropriate paths. So now we will expose only API gateway URL to the client, okay? So when client calls API gateway endpoint, so client only requests the API gateway endpoint, okay? So behind the scenes, API gateway invokes the appropriate microservice URL based on their registration okay so on receiving the response from the appropriate microservice application api return the same response to the clients okay so api gateway is a bridge between the microservices and the client application okay and here is my manufacturer api and it runs under 7117177 and here is our sales business microservice api and it's a dumb and its URL is 7135, okay? Now let's create a one more API project that act as the API gateway. So here is my .NET CLI command for creating the web API project. So let's create the API project. So project has been successfully created. Let's open my project in Visual Studio Code Editor. Okay, so here is our API project. And to make it as the API gateway, we will install Oscillate API Gateway NuGet package. So Oscillate is a open source .NET framework where it is provide has the ability to work as a API Gateway. Okay, so this is the NuGet package Oscillate. We have to install. Since I am using .NET CLI command, right? So I am going to copy from here. If you are using Visual Studio, make sure to copy from the package manager. Okay, install the package. And I have mentioned, right, we have to map our microservice API with the gateway API, right? So to, may, to, to map the URLs, we have to maintain a JSON file like oscillate JSON. Okay, let's create a file like oscillate JSON. Okay, two main properties of this os oscillate JSON are routes okay and it is an array type 
and one more thing that is global configuration. Okay, so our main URL mapping all, all goes under this routes array. Okay, so to map a uh, our microservice URL, we have to add a property like downstream path template. Okay. So this downstream path template should contain the our microservice endpoint which we want to map. Okay. So in our manufacturer API, I want to map the products API, right? So for that I want to copy the path. Okay, this is the path. Products is my path. Okay. And one more thing. It is the array, right? We should create an object inside of it and add. Okay. So that is about downstream path template where we define our microservice uh, path. And next we can we have to specify the scheme of the microservice. So for that we need to specify a property like downstream scheme. So, so scheme is nothing but HTTP or HTTPS. We will use HTTPS. Okay. And next we need to specify the downstream host and ports. Okay. For that we need to specify downstream host and ports okay it should be an array and inside of it we will have properties like a host so what is our host our host is a local host in real real in real case in real time example it will be our domain okay this is also an object we need to define okay Because a microservice can have a number of bindings in the at the server, right? So we can have a number of domains for single microservice application as well. That is why the downstream host and ports are array object. Okay. And next we have to specify the port number. So what is my port number? 7177. Okay. So these are all the required configurations from the microservice that we want to map. So next we have to specify a property. How it should be mapped to the API gateway path. So we now we have to define the API gateway path. Okay, here that will match this original microservice path. Okay, so it is the mapping path. So we, for that we have to specify property like upstream path template okay so i will map the path like so my project is manufacturer right so i will add a manufacturer and i will use remaining path okay so this is the mapping url means this url will be exposed to the client okay whenever client uh, invokes this path okay a, this is the API, pro, a, API gateway project, right? So what it will do, it will compare or map the relevant original microservice path. So it will again invoke the original API call. Once the response is written, then the response will be delivered to the client, okay? In that way, API gateway works, okay? And we can specify uh, this template path should be work for what are the different uh, HTTP method. Okay, for that we can define a property like upstream path method, and this method is a array, and here I can specify get and port. Right, because products. If you consider the products, you can see right here is my get and post method. Right. 
so it should work for both get and host method save url so here i specify it should be based on http method request type uh, this url for, or must work for both like uh, get and post okay similarly i can map my sales business endpoint as well so for that copy paste this one okay and if i go to my sales business api if i go to orders endpoint so my endpoint is orders right so what i will do this is my original microservice endpoint path and scheme will be https and host will be localhost and port number will be different right seven seven one three five so register that one okay and this is my sales endpoint right sales microservice so i will uh, add sales okay so i have registered my uh, product endpoint and order endpoint of my microservice but this uh, path i defined will only work for uh, this get all is sync and post all is sync if you want to filter by id these paths won't work okay for that we have to define another set of configurations okay similar to this so for that what i will do I will copy all configurations now i want to map uh, endpoint filter by id right so here i can specify so braces represent dynamic value any value is sent okay so i will map like id similarly here as well id id so i have registered all my endpoints in both the microservices okay so this is the this is how we have to map the endpoints in the api gateway application okay next we need to configure uh, oscillate microservices and its middleware okay to do that go to program.cs file and here first i need to load the uh, pro oscillate uh, json right so builder dot configuration dot add json okay and pass the name of our json file so it will load the json file when our application starts okay next i need to register the oscillate service so here builder dot services dot add osc plot okay so let's import the namespace okay what i will do let me import the namespace manually using oscillate dot dependency injection okay so service also registered now i need to register the uh, oscillate middleware so osc lot now import the namespace of the middleware and wait it and it should be waited okay okay so what we did here we loaded our oscillate json and registered our oscillate service and added oscillate middleware okay that's it now if i run my application for oscillate api you no need to have swagger if you want you can remove those middleways and now i want to access the um, let me go to my oscillate json file so and here small correction i have written like post it should be port okay port Okay, now rerun the 
application and test our endpoints. So let's first test the products endpoint. So what is the mapped path of my API gateway manufacturer slash products, right? So copy that path. Okay. Paste it over here. See, I'm getting products, but the path, the, the domain is API gateway domain. The, what is the original domain? Localhost 7177. But I am getting the products through API gateway. Similarly, let's test orders as well. Okay. So what is the orders path? Original microservice endpoint is slash orders. And our API gateway map is sales slash. Sorry, here also small corruption. It should be orders. And here also corrected orders. Okay. okay, now copy the orders path. Okay. And okay, now load it. See, now, now I got orders as well. But what is the domain? Domain is the API gateway domain. What is the original domain of the Sales 7135. Okay, similarly, I can get products by ID as well since I have registered that also, right? And I want 8002. See, I got this one. And if I want orders also by ID, I get that one too. 1002. Okay, so I got orders. See, now we will expose only this domain to the client application. We won't expose our original microservices domain. We will only expose our API gateway domain. So client applications can easily handle the URLs for invoking the API call, okay? That is the importance of integrating API gateway into, into the microservices flow, okay? So that is the end of this .NET 6 microservices. I hope this video has delivered some useful information to you all. So if you like my video, please support me by subscribing to my channel. Soon we are going to meet with new videos. Until then, signing off.